Oh my! Hello there! Hello. Never actually found one of you in Legends Arceus somehow. Or Bidoof, for that matter. <laughs> what type of Pokeball looks best for you? I guess Ultra Ball, really. Your golden black. Yeah. Yeah, Ultra Ball looks great. So lame, but it's kind of lame, but it does look really good for you. No, no. Stay in. I actually really like your gold in this game. It's very vibrant. Cool. Hello, little guy. You have a gym date, that makes sense. Sassy nature, no ribbons. Okay, so unfortunately, this next part uh, got extremely corrupted, but I found a shiny love disc. And I named it Heart Gold. And I explained why, but that st is all gone now, so. Whatever. It was. It was yeah. <laughs> uh, yikes, it looks really bad. It'll only be for another second, don't worry. And let's move on to the next one. Hello. Hello, little spoink. Don't think you can hide from me. What Pokeball do I want to use? <laughs> yeah, I'll go for Heal Ball. I was oh I was gonna get it there. I don't really wanna I don't really have a way to lower your health without exiting battle first. Which is technically something I could do. No. Oh, come on. Oh, you have Splash? That's interesting. It's very pointless. Oh, oh there we go. Modest nature. Okay, and you're female, of course, because most of my shinies are female. I was really trying to get a cloth. I think I'm just gonna still go for that. Let's see if I get it or not. How? 
Yeah, please save. <laughs> I'm surprised I noticed you. Because of the shade. <laughs> Yellow. Dive ball might be good. Well, if I'm gonna swap you in, just have you leading my party really right now. I'm not using my talent flame right now. Wait. How funny. Ah, <laughs> oh, because that's exactly what I was about to do. Yeah, that's not gonna be a problem. Not like you can poison me anyway. Anyway. Well, actually, a quick ball would have fit your colors decently. That's a good point. If I want to use quick ball, I should use the first turn. I thought I wanted to throw my pokeballs to see what I wanted. I was going to use a dive ball, but quick ball. Yeah, that looks. Way better. That was easy. Female Gulpin with bold nature, no ribbons or no marks, even. Okay, on to the next. How many? How many shinies am I gonna get this episode? This is getting a little much, but I really do want a cloth, so we'll see. Oh my gosh. Hello. That's three shinies today. <laughs> I saw you from a distance. I've seen quite a few of you too. Well, let's put you to sleep. And then we can go ahead and figure out what Pokeball wall I want to use. Yeah, I think I'll use a Premier Ball. You didn't even fall asleep. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, you're female, docile, no mark. Okay. I think I'm going to keep hunting here for a little bit. Who knows? Because three in one day, that's a lot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have found you. Well, there's. Oh, come back here. 
Shiny cloth. I just made a sandwich, too. No encounter power, of course. Or not, sorry. No shiny power, of course. Oh! Let's put you to sleep. Of course, most of my shinies are female. I don't know why. Oh! I spent all day looking for you here. What Pokeball do I want to use? You're white and obviously blue. Well then, Dive Ball. I'm going to waste a turn. To make sure you're asleep because I don't have very many Dive Balls. Only most of my Pokeball types are just from picking off off the ground. So I don't have a whole lot to spare. So I don't want to waste these if I can. Oh, that was a critical capture. I think I just caught you. <laughs> oh, great. Female, no mark, gentle nature, shell armor. Oh, pr protects against critical hits. That's pretty good. I think. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Onwards to whatever it is I'm doing this episode. So, yeah. Six shinies, one episode. Probably won't do that again for a while. <laughs> oh, that got close enough, really? Zombie. Hello. As I told you, my name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Now let's pick up our conversation from where we left off before mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve the sticky situation and to find out the reasons behind Team Star's be odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students of Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Cassiopeia, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. If I don't have enough information just yet, so I want to speak with students from Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, zombie. Okay. Team Star. Uh, what Pokemon do we want to have out for this one? You're, this is a dark type. I know I don't need you right now, I don't think. Who do I want? Do I got a... Not gonna uh, care right now. Let's just see what the battle's like first. Well, well, hold it, you. Up ahead to the base of operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the Second Squad. Yep, and we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing up around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amigo, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but. Are you that zombie kid? You know, that piece of work we're, go we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I am, he says. Cool as a cube comfort. Honestly, it's not always the best policy, you know. Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off and get thrashed by me and Battle Kid. What it'll be. I'll take you on. That's fine. Gah! Sashy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stomped into the dirt. Why are you so far away? <laughs> okay, how strong can you possibly be? Murder! What level are you? Level 19. Okay, I don't need to bring anyone in that's very strong to this. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, I could have done. Are oh, you have a. Oh! I didn't think about that. Okay, so I have a super, I do have a super effective move on my team. I did I didn't even bother to look You only have one Pokemon? Gah Stupid grunts. 
Why does such a sassy kid have to be so strong? It's a level 19 bird you had. What the heck were you expecting? I think I guess I guess I fought a stronger one of these first, to be fair, but still. God, how the heck could I lose? Well, whatever. It's your problem now. Finish up here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Hostile V Star. Hostile V. What? Okay. Did I fight two of you then? She's new to the team, you know. Might have, a li might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. <sighs> I'm gonna go into the base now and get the rest of the squads. You just sent her into the base for whatever. Well, we'll come at you full force if you step foot inside, so you might want to consider returning tail. Either way, best of luck to you. So you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now hold up in that base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the second squad. Their boss, Gian Como, pretty much runs the whole tip Team Star. And he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war won't have ruffled him in the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts, then finish you off himself. <clears throat> no use trying to outthink his stra out think strategy strategic types like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. This will be very quick and easy. Especially since I don't even get... Ooh, I don't even get experience for doing this. <laughs> There's like such little point to doing this story mission. It's absurd. But I'm going to keep up with what uh, I said I was going to do. With doing this before the gym challenge. <laughs> Uh, the first three. Oh, no, no, wait. Probably. Who do I want to... It really doesn't matter. Does it? Because, like... <laughs> I don't even get experience. There's, like, no point of changing my team. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Seems the folks behind Operation Starfool are finally making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang? Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you got the skills to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, it's so, so slow. It's 10 minutes. Our boss might deem you worthy to meet in person. Heh, <laughs> break a leg. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, they have Zoras. That's nice. How fancy. Who's next? You guys right here? Sure. Ooh, there's four of you guys here. That's nice. You guys are considered a dark type? I didn't even realize. And we're done. Wait. I, I definitely count. Okay, now we're done. He's way above our level. We've got to get the boss. Hello. Really done number on us, party crasher. Zombie, was it? I'm Giyama Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play your sick rec room as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. Okay. What are you going to send out? The sharp? Okay. You don't really think things through, do ya? Declaring war on Team Star is a real bad move. Oh, it's not the shop, it's Pony. Wh whichever. I'm not even gonna bot. Oh, this isn't the only normal thing. I'm not even gonna bother <laughs> worrying about any. Do you only have two Pokemon? Is that real? Yeah, I'm just gonna use a fair move the entire time. <laughs> this needle drop you. Heat drop will burst your ears open. DJ Vice bringing, down, bringing the house down or whatever he said. I think it's 
so much damage. Ha, how's that for an opening track? track? I'll spin you up real good. I'll spin you up good for actual What the? What? I don't care. You're a joke. Though, to be fair, I am much higher level than I should be for this area. But I don't really care. Yeah, yeah, I'll take on your car next. It's pure fairy type, I presume? Time to up the tempo. The show ain't over yet. I said fairy? Pure dark type. And I'm performing as well. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Exactly what I was going for. I'll just keep spamming this move. That did nothing! Oh, that's only- that depends on how many Pokémon you have in your party as well. You only have one other Pokémon. That was never gonna do much. <laughs> and this will defeat you. Wow. Strategy, huh? <laughs> you have very bad strategy. <laughs> Oh, that didn't kill? What? Weird. Oh, it's because he's lowering my attack. Oh, I see. My special attack. Yeah, whatever. The fact that you don't even get experience for doing these battles makes it so not worth doing these at all. Uh, I'm only doing this for the story. Or to progress the story, even. Guess that's that. Oh boy. Backstory time. About a year and a half ago. Guess that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? Big Boss just wanted to take on some stuff. So we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like, for what? Operation Star, first of all. And also, a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figured we gotta make some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice, you'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? Heh, <laughs> no thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be, the, be president of the student council. But you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone and they wouldn't take it. But you got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. Cannot help but control her. Male students' hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape and so forth. Your rules were vexation to made manifest. My point exactly. So you'll all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. We always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. We've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. Stuck up student council prez isn't who you are anymore, man. The code written by the Giacomo I'm looking at now. I'll follow that. I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. To the best I could. Wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days are as boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would ya? Did you write up the code for people being able to take over your role, just so you have an out of the team if you wanted it? I'll give you this choice TM, too. You earned it fair and square. Huh, so this is how the party ends. But let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong. I only used one Pokemon. What are you talking about? Well, I guess I did for the other people as well, but still. You're learning those trainer chops at the academy? Like what moves and stuff you should use and stuff? No. <laughs> nope. Uh-huh. Okay. You like it at the academy? Having fun? It's fine. No kidding. So I interrupt. Why are you Giacomo? Whoa, I wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a quack swell to style it up for you. Just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure, I could tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. 
Seems all of you in Team Star are heading for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if, they're, if they'll be coming back. A pal. Close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. Where is this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, must be a year and a half now. We thought if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. Teachers kept keep pressing us to call it quits, and then we'd get party crashers like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? <laughs> is the sky blue? Let me put the, it in words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Zombie, it's me. Giacomo's star badge is yours now, huh? Or then, even? I see. With its boss out of the picture, the second squad is pretty much done for. Now, Giacomo too. So I got a lot on my mind now, or right now. It's Operation Starfall. You've taken down all but two boss, or two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. That this seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal was to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call the Big Boss. Okay. I figured, who knows, they control the five squad bases or bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that will be it for Team Star. Since the Big Boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the big boss will ha finally have to take the stage. Now about your reward. Transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. How much? 7,000. That's very little. Okay. Heavy Pokemon learn strong moves so they can continue to be of use to the operation. My supply unit rep should be with you soon. Hey there, zombie. That, uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Yeah, I wasn't talking to you. Okay, well, I don't know. <laughs> so that mastermind you were talking about, Cassiopeia has mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who's caused all kinds of misery at the Academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. Okay. I don't really care. Yeah, my reward. So just a bunch of random junk. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll be off then. No one zombie. Don't lose to those guys. Okay, time to loot the base. Oh, finally something. Really? Is that is the only thing they have here? Encore? <laughs> Great. Team Star is such a waste. Even the Misfortune Sisters were a better evil team than these guys. If you can call them an evil team, even. <laughs> There's something up here, too. That's something, I guess. Helping hand. I don't know if I have it in me to do another Team Star base this episode. I should really probably do it so I could do this game a little faster. But, yikes. So instead I'm going to go around the lake. Because I want to see specifically what's over there. And I'm going to head around this way, I think. Because it's more land this way. Possibly less lag because of that. Because I don't really care about the stuff in the water as much. I'll just see what sights I see, and I'll try to level up my Pokemon as well. So, like, fighting you, for example. Well, if I'm gonna put <laughs> anyone in lead, it should be Clodsire. 
who I'll eventually name. We'll get to that at some point. Yeah, I'm just gonna fight you for some levels, please. Wow, no Man. levels. Well, I mean, Cloth got a couple levels, but... <laughs> rest of my team, none at all, really. I forgot, there's apparently a thing in this game where the amount of experience you get is based off of... Uh, what was it, Drag Look Outbreak? That's kind of cool. Go ahead and take one of them down so we might go to Dex, please. Oh, yeah, the amount of ex... Well, I guess, whatever, they're Michael Dex now. The amount of experience you get is, ba is based off of how many gyms you defeated. Not badges you have, but gyms. So, this game really only cares about the gyms. <laughs> Which is disappointing. How the heck are you stupid? I don't, I under don't understand this region at all. This is a bad matchup. You know what I just realized? I was worried about this thing because it had... Uh... Because I thought it was going to have Levitate, originally. It has Cursed Body! I, I realized that earlier, during an attack. Oh well. <laughs> You're dead now. Yeah, so he has Cursed Body, not Levitate. I could have taken it down. Ooh, level up? Okay. Bear skewed. Yeah, definitely not for you. Clotsire is the perfect Pokemon for that. Ah, uh, water absorbs. So good. Ooh, that hurt. But that killed you as well. Okay. Let's see your final form. Wow, you're very, very pink still. <laughs> cool. Fire Ghost, ooh. That's really good. You sing, what? <laughs> Torch Song. What the heck is this? It's a special attack. Oh wow, your special attack is very high, but I guess that's normal for fire type. For fire starters, even. Ask for advice. I forgot that was a thing. Also, it also boosts the user's special attack. Oh my gosh. It's not a. Sometimes it boosts. Oh, it's way better than Flamethrower, even, too. Wow. You're gonna be very good. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll just jump over this river. I'm go down here. I'm going to assume we're going to start seeing new Pokemon now. Presumably. Ah, I don't think I've seen you before. In this game, at least. <laughs> Bigger off? I guess I have. Oh, you can teach me how to make stuff? Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay. I thought you just gave me ingredients. These people. Okay. So you gave me a recipe. That's interesting. Wait, these are level 30s up here? What the heck? Wait, if I go across here, do the levels jump again? Whoops. Didn't mean to run into you. I just need to know this. Yeah, you. why are your guys' levels went down? Oh my gosh, this lake is really supposed to be like the last area you go in the game. What the heck? I feel like more like the snowy area should be the last. Wait, what the heck? Even... Even the trainers are le level 30s. <laughs> I can actually take this with most of my team. I don't need... Which means I didn't need to poison you. <laughs> Sorry, that's a little rude. Poison jab itself would probably one shot. No, oh, maybe not. No, no, poison jab. Never mind. Not very effective.
Wait, what the? Backpacker's only weakness is steel type moves. He's thrown a Leafeon? Really? I want to see what I want to see Torch Song. It's just on day! Wow, you're not a very good hiker. Can I see the move? No? Good job, Pokemon. I mean, also, this hikers. <laughs> yeah. And now we're in the snow. Give me a second. I want to grab this item. What are you? Probably an ice type, if I had to guess. Happy ice type. Okay. Oh, I guess I've... Have I seen you? Games through things I've seen you. Okay. <laughs> Didn't really want to be up here. I wanted to continue off around somewhere else. Does that mean the Ice Mountain is a lower level than the lake? <laughs> or at least this part of the Ice Mountain? Well, let me get to the Pokemon Center, I guess, real quick. Dragon Tamer? Whoa! Okay, that's fancy. Resist Fire as well. So, not... Don't resist Fight. <laughs> Can't believe Waddles is my dragon pole. So funny. Cotton Guard, I don't think that'll matter. I'm pretty sure this is a special attack. I did very little. Whoa! Hello! Little ghost dog. Are you. What typing are you? You just pop down the ground. Says I've seen you before. I think I should be able to see you. Just pure ghost. Okay. Kind of cool. Oh, he survived. Okay, I found a Pokemon Center. You are much bigger. <laughs> The evolution. It's a Titan. Okay. Finally, proper battle. Yeah, great. Good job, Pokemon. Hiding in the tree from me. <sighs> Battles aren't very good in this game. Ouch. And yeah, it's plants already should 100% kill. Uh huh. Well, bounce shouldn't kill. I should be fine. Yeah. Is that like a little bird on my head? A little fire thing on my head. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm back in the lake. Does that mean your guys' levels skyrocketed? Yeah, it has. That is annoying. So I want to be... Ooh, hello. I'm gonna be over here in this area. I wanna pull the stake. Let me see. This is another yellow. Where is this? I can't really see it. The one with glowing yellow. I've seen them glowing multiple colors. Okay. Oh, hello. You guys are just here in this area? Also, I don't think I've seen you before. But you're level 50, aren't you? I guess I have seen you. Okay, well, this place is scary. Good to know. Whoop! I... Really? Level 50 is great. Let me just make a quick... Take a quick look around the area, then. Okay, I'm curious about the central plateau in the middle. Uh, I want to see what's at the top. 
obviously. <laughs> oh! Hello. Actually, more interesting. So, I, I guess the stake I pulled wasn't yellow, but whatever this light green color is. Here in line is sealed the ruinous vessel. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna climb up to the top then. Maybe there's oh, there's a cave behind it. <laughs> the game deloaded it for a second. There might be another stake up here somewhere. Oh, there's a leaf yawn. Just here. I wanted the item I got. Too close to Wait. You're the evolved- oh, Houndstone, I've seen you, apparently. Interesting. Also, the dog was clipping through- or this one of the smaller ones was clipping through the, uh, the side of the room, <laughs> which is a little funny. Ooh, another snake. So I think there's four of these of, like, four different colors. <laughs> I presume. <laughs> Considering there's, like, four distinct, uh, directions that, like, the game cares about. So I found two of that one. I'm not gonna worry about finding the rest right now. Um, it'll just happen eventually as I'm wandering around. Probably won't find most of them on camera. Or at least not every one of them on camera. Because I've seen a few already. Or pulled a few already off camera. Or a couple? I don't know how many done. I've only seen two of the, uh, the seals, so a little interesting that I haven't seen more of those yet. Because presumably there's probably two more. Oh, here's a third one. That was fast. It almost makes me want to go find the fourth. But I don't really want to go looking for it right now. Because I'm probably I'm not even ready for this area in general. Not let alone whatever is uh, in that cave, which I presume is like supposed to be much later, or something you're supposed to do later on in the game. So well, maybe you are supposed to be able to do it now. Who knows? I still have two on you. No, I've. I've definitely pulled more than... I've pulled more than two of them in this area, right? Wasn't there, like, one, like, right near you as well? I think up up on like, that cliff up there or something. I've definitely pulled... Okay, interesting. Well, I can at least locate the others, right? Okay, so we're down here. The other one is way up here. So if we assume that it's about equal distance apart from each other, or like around the map, I would expect one to be around this mountain right here, which sort of makes sense. And then in this desert, or perhaps up here on this mountain, probably more on the mountain because I've been through the desert a lot, I haven't seen it there. So let's go check those other mountains, I guess. Have I really only put two? purple ones? That didn't sound right. Okay, that's why the math didn't add up in my head. I never pulled this one. <laughs> but I saw it from the very beginning of the game. <laughs> or, before I could jump, like, I knew it was here. Cool. It's good to know. Okay, now let's head over to that other mountain. Okay, well, what's... What's this? To Alfred Nada. So this is just to another town, right? Cavern. Whoa, this place is cool. I'm not going to worry about this right now, because I think this is just for like a, one of the gym challenges. I doubt it's in here. It could be in here, though. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. I just wanted to go find these uh, gate thing, or these uh, sealed areas. And here could make sense as well. 
It's a lot of cliff sides that this thing could just be hidden against, too. So it's a little difficult to, like, figure out where to go first. There's a cave here. I've come through this before. I think it's just in case you fall into the central pit. I wonder if it's down here in the central pit, actually. That could make sense. Did I ever properly look? <laughs> Oh, well, it looks like there's nothing down here. I guess it's okay. <laughs> oh, there's two caves here. I don't think I've been through this one, then. Or maybe I have been through this one? <laughs> Not the other one? Who knows? Oh, there's a Jolteon up here. Okay. Kind of cool. Okay, this place is very cliffy. I've wandered around quite a bit, I, and I haven't seen it. It could still be in here somewhere, or it could be somewhere slightly different. I want to go check the other side of the map for the other one, then. Okay, I've traveled around up here off-camera a bit, just kind of exploring. Oh, well, this place lagging, too. Yikes. Maybe I never came directly into the, the bamboo forest thing then. Just saw from a distance. Ooh, bamboo shoot, okay. I hope it's not down in here then. I also have to be slightly careful to not get up to the uh, Team Star base. I should be able to get to the Pokemon Center up here, though, for future travel. This, this little bamboo forest is way bigger than it looks looked on the map. Yeah, I would like to be able to spot it from a distance. Why are there three towers out here? What the heck? This place is somewhat interesting. Land on one tower. They're different heights, too. Huh. This place feels special. Just because of the, the three different towers. Whoa, that's a big cliff. Oh my. Okay. Oh, there's glades up here. That's kind of cool. Oh, hey, another <laughs> Pokemon Center. Oh, hey, it's one of you. Interesting. I think I've seen you before. Right. Okay, well, I think I'm done looking for now. Because I don't even know if I'm in the right spot. There's a tower up here. I'm going to go for this ta one last tower <laughs> real quick. And then it'll be done. The problem is that the areas I, I chose to look are just extremely mountainous. <laughs> Surprised I can climb this steep of a cliff. Okay. Just another point on the mountain. <laughs> and if I look down here, can I spot it? I also haven't seen any more of the ominous black stakes like in, in the area, and I don't know if that's like if those are meant to be a clue as to the uh, general whereabouts of them. Because it could be. Yeah, it's tag tree, tag tree of forest or whatever thicket down there. I, yeah, I don't know where this, these two are gonna be, <laughs> and I'm not gonna worry about it right now. So I'm probably not high enough level for it, anyways. Okay, well I'm just gonna stop now and proceed to shiny hunt some more. I have a couple of Pokemon that I kind of want to get before I finish this game. Not that I'm close to finishing this game, I guess. I'll see you guys next time with, like, at least two more, probably, at this point.